the Southern Baptist model meltdown. The church leaders who made themselves blind and then cruel. They dedicated their, li their lives to a gospel that says that every human being is made in the image of God. They dedicated their lives to a creed that command one to look out for the marginalized, the vulnerable. The last shall be first, the meek shall inherit the earth. And yet, when allegation of sexual abuse came, the leaders of the Southern Baptist Convention betrayed it all. Those men, and they seem to have all been men, must have listened to hundreds of hours of pious sermons, read hundreds of high-minded theological books, recited thousands of hours of prayer, and yet all those true teachings and good beliefs had no effect on their actual behavior. Instead, according to an independently produced report released by the convention this week, those leaders covered up widespread abuse in their denomination and often intimidated and belittled victims. More than 400 people believed to be affiliated with the church, including some church leaders, have been accused of committing abuse. One woman, Jennifer, said she'd been sexually abused while a student at a Southern Baptist Seminary. In an article, the church's communication arms made it sound as if she were confessing to a consensual affair. Crazy. Then the head of one seminary told one student not to report a rape, according to the report, and later at another seminary, emailed his intention to meet with another student who had reported an assault with no other officials present so he could break her down. Those leaders' stated beliefs and the sacred creed had zero, zero effect on their actual behavior, just as similar creeds and beliefs had zero effect on the Catholic bishops who behaved in much the same way when they learned of abuses years ago. How can there be such a chasm between what people believe and what they do? Don't our beliefs matter? The fact is, moral behavior doesn't start with having the right beliefs. Moral behavior starts with an act, the act of seeing the full humanity of other people. Moral behavior it's not about having the right to the intellectual concept in your head. It's about the seeing other people with the eyes of the heart, seeing them in their full experience, suffering with their full suffering, working with them on their path. Morality starts with the quality of attention we cast upon another. If you look at people with a detached, emotionless gaze, it doesn't really matter what your beliefs, what your beliefs are, because you have morally disengaged. You have perceived a person not as a full human, but as a thing, as a vague entity toward which the rules of morality do not apply. In 2007, a woman named Krista 
had the courage to testify before Southern Baptist official that her youth pastor had repeatedly sexually assaulted her when she was 16. She reported that one official turned his back, literally refusing to look at her, refusing to see her. That is the sort of dehumanization that created indifference that enables rape, abuse, and all the other horrific dehumanizing acts down the road. Character is not measured by a person's beliefs, but by the ability to see the full humanity of others. It is not automatic. It's a skill acquired slowly. It's about being able to focus on what's, what's going on in your own mind and simultaneously focus on what's going on in another's, another mind. It's about learning how to uh, minutely observe, observe and resonate with other people's emotions.